Kid Buu is coming back to Dokkan, but not as an LR, as another TUR, but this time a Dokkan Festival leading unit. So today's video, we're going to be talking about the big Jump Festa news that hit last night. Jump Festa is actually still going on as we speak. It's like a two and a half to three day event. It's a monumental thing in Japan. And early on, they did some brief announcements for Dokkan and Legends. During the Dokkan segment, they went over some of the basics about Dokkan, how to play the game, what's currently going on in Dokkan. Obviously, JP, this is not global related. JP, since this is Jump Festa, all for Japan. They were going over the campaign that was currently active for the JP game, which is the future Gohan. Just trying to get, you know, more eyes on the product. Obviously, this is a marketing thing, so they're trying to present it as a very approachable, easy-to-digest game. And then at the end, they gave a little something-something for the veteran players or some of the existing players to see what's coming up next. So for JP Dokkan's next Dokkan Festival, it's going to be a dual Dokkan Fest with... Kid Buu and what is most likely going to be Super Saiyan 3 Goku. But as you can see here, we only see the SSR art. We've got the Super Saiyan Goku on the left, and we've got the Kid Buu on the right. And as you can tell from the environment and based on what Kid Buu is doing, this is of course on the Supreme Kai planet. Basically when Goku and Vegeta break free of the Buhan, get everybody out of there, and Buhan reverts to Kid Buu, which is his worst form. And Goku and Vegeta decide to fight him 1v1 which to this day still triggers me, but it's kind of funny. In any case, this is the setup. So Majin Buu Saga seems to be coming back in a major way on JP Dokkan, not to mention the fact that they also had the V-Jump leaks happen a couple of days ago where they were going over the future Gohan information on JP. But then at the bottom here, you see the Extreme Z area for the Majin Buu Saga event coming back. They also have three EZAs that are going to be dropping for JP that all pertain once again to said Majin Buu Saga. We've got Saiyaman 1 and 2, Gohan Videl, and the Supreme Kais, all of whom are free to play, all of whom are from Majin Buu Saga. So Majin Buu Saga is making a major comeback. So from this announcement, we can kind of somewhat figure out what some of these leader skills could potentially be relating to. Obviously, number one, it's got to be Majin Buu Saga. Maybe one or two of them could lead Majin Buu Saga. Probably only one of them. Kind of like how the simultaneous... 350 million download celebration was where the Frieza led the Planet Namek saga as well as sworn enemies. So too, maybe Kid Buu could lead a new category as well as Majin Buu saga. And that would actually make a lot of sense because the Majin Buu saga category is greatly in need of some extreme leaders. We only have so far two free to play LRs that are leads. That too, not the greatest. And then we've got a 120% lead in Deborah. So we really don't have a full-on 170% leader for the extreme side of Majin Buu Saga. And while the extreme side tends to suffer on a lot of categories like this, there is still a substantial amount of boos here. So there is a potential category that can be derived from this simply from the extreme side of Majin Buu Saga. So I would not be surprised if they did something like that here. Now, as far as the new category goes... I have a couple of ideas, so let me know in the comments if you guys agree or disagree with any of these. Obviously, there's no right or wrong answer because whatever they give us, people instantly start to sort of digest it and rationalize it and think, okay, that makes sense. But if someone were to have come up with the idea ahead of time, it seems absurd and stupid, so try to bear with me. I tried to think of some ideas because it's not easy. We've got, what, 70 categories in Dokkan? So, assuming Kid Buu gets one category being a familiar one like Majin Buu Saga, and assuming Goku gets a category, maybe Battle of Wits, Final Trump Card, um, Pure Saiyans, or something like that, whatever the one category is, the other, the new category, I have two ideas for each. We'll start with the Kid Buu. For Kid Buu, the ideas that I came up with were Infinite Energy or Limitless Potential. Infinite Energy, of course, referencing the fact that his energy is infinite. He never seems to get tired, which also has some similarities with the Android 17 and 18, which is mentioned in Super. So basically what I was thinking was all the various iterations of Boo plus the Androids, which essentially compiles the artificial lifeforms category, but there could be some exceptions either thrown in or excluded from it. Look, I'm just trying to think of categories at this point. So limitless energy or infinite energy could be one. Limitless potential could be another one because of the fact that He's just so strong, the potential, the amount of power that could come from this character is limitless. We've, we've seen this in, in other parts of Dragon Ball, 
most specifically Super Saiyan 2 Gohan when his rage finally manifested, but it was always kind of known that his potential was virtually limitless based on the fact that he had this untapped anger that really hadn't been harnessed yet. So examples like that lead me to think that maybe there could be something tangible in those two categories, but I could be totally wrong. Let me know in the comments if you guys can think of anything. One category that I heard Truth talking about, uh, since he's a Legends player, I'm not really a Legends player yet, he talked about regeneration. That could be a good one. At this point, I also feel like maybe if we look at some of the links in the game, that might be the next best thing to find some of the newer categories that can come from, you know, for, for Dokkan. So we already have regeneration in the game, so might as well make that a category too. So those are some ideas for Kid Buu. For Goku, category ideas that I could think of, Proud... Is it Prideful? Proud Warriors? Prideful Warriors? Um, the reason why I say that is simply because when they got to the Supreme Kai planet and they were fighting Kid Buu, they did rock, paper, scissors to see who fought him first. This was after they used Super Vegito to fight off Buhan. And obviously, Super Vegito would have been the better option here, but because they are Saiyans, they are pr a proud Saiyan warrior race, they wanted to fight him 1v1. So that could be a category. You could also uh, include the Pride Troopers in there. You could include all versions of Vegeta. You could include a couple versions of Goku here and there. Maybe Gohan when he's overly arrogant, like against the Super Buu when he goes Ultimate Gohan. That could be a good option. So there are a couple. I feel like this is actually a pretty good idea for a category. Prideful Warriors. The other one is Solitary Fighters. Solitary Fighters literally just means people who fight on their own. Which, in hindsight, kind of applies to everybody, because most Dragon Ball fights do end up being 1v1s. So that might not be as good of a category, but I was thinking maybe uh, Goku, most of the Gokus, maybe maybe just the pure Saiyans, and then some of the Tournament of Power characters? I don't know. Honestly, out of the two, Prideful Warrior sounds a lot better. So let me know in the comments if you guys can think of anything. Other than that, and other than the easy eyes that are announced here with the free-to-plays... There could be possibly some really good easiest coming from the leader side, with the Super Vegito being one that desperately has been needing an easy A. This is probably primary candidate number one for a lot of people in terms of an easy A. Now that we know exactly how the 170% easy A meta works, what's going to happen here is whenever this unit gets an easy A, he'll become a Majin Buu Saga 170% across the board leader, which would be the first of its kind. I don't believe this unit has a full 170% leader skill. Yeah. Battle of Wits, Majin Buu Saga, 130% HP, 170% attack and defense. So this would be the first of its kind. So this is actually shaping up to probably be the next major Dokkan Festival category EZA. Other than that, maybe we can get some Awakenings or some sub-leader EZAs or something in here. I would actually... This is kind of a crazy idea, pretty outlandish. I don't think it'll happen. But when I was looking through, I saw that these two units, this one and the Vegeta, are literally the precursors to what you're seeing in this image right here, right? Like, Goku and Vegeta are doing Rock, Paper, Scissors to see who fights first. Vegeta obviously loses. How great would it be if these two get Awakenings? I do realize, though, that these are units that were simply just handed to us from a win-lose global versus JP campaign. So I doubt that they're going to give us an Awakening for this anytime soon. But it would be pretty cool to have that, especially since this card art literally happens minutes after this. In fact, is he doing a thumbs up? I just realized, I think he's doing a thumbs up here. So this is quite literally after Goku wins the Rock, Paper, Scissors and the Kais leave the planet. It's just Goku and Vegeta and Goku had just said goodbye to them as they were leaving. So this is quite literally seconds after this, which is quite cool. So I would love to have a TUR free to play right here and then give this guy the full Dokkan Fest treatment. Make the SSR Super Saiyan, make the TUR Super Saiyan 2, and then active skill into Super Saiyan 3. Or maybe he starts off as a Super Saiyan 2 and auto-transforms into Super Saiyan 3 just by starting the battle. And Kid Buu, obviously, there's no change there. He'll just be a more ferocious version in his TUR state. As far as the LR Kid Buu's concerned, I know a lot of people are kind of upset about the fact that there is no LR Kid Buu as of yet. But look, this is a step in the right direction. We haven't had a Dokkan Festival lead for a Kid Buu. We've had mono leads. We've had nice supports and extra Kid Buu's on the side with EZAs, but never before have we had a prominent Dokkan Festival Kid Buu. So this is the start of something quite beautiful, and I fully expect this portion of the Dragon Ball Z arc to be 
fully represented. I love this fight. This is probably one of my favorite fights. And honestly, this was really what made me like Super Saiyan 3. I'm not the biggest vocal fan of Super Saiyan 3 in my videos or on streams, but the reason why I like Super Saiyan 3 overall is because of this fight and how cool it was to see Kid Buu and Goku go at it one after the other with all of their various techniques and the way that they just looked, how poised they were, it was really entertaining to watch. Both in the show, the anime, as well as in Kakarot. So, Super Saiyan 3, Goku, Kid Buu, this is going to be one epic dual Dokkan festival. And uh, I cannot wait to see what happens on JP. Global, obviously, we're going to have to wait for quite a few months. But still, this is big news, people. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments. What do you guys think the categories could potentially be for the Goku and the Kid Buu as far as new categories are concerned? As far as easy A's, which easy A's do you expect JP to get? Super Vegito. What are some other ones? Maybe Deborah. Maybe those TURs for the free-to-plays could happen. Just give me your thoughts on all of this in the comments down below. And do you think that this is a good thing or a bad thing that our first new Kid Buu is a TUR Dokkan Fest instead of an LR? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more Dokkan content in the future. And click the notification bell so that you let you know you want to see more episodes. Whew. Lost my breath there. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned and always remember to Dokkan responsibly.